Back here on NFL Live, the mock draft season continues. Hold up, Mike T. Former Jets GM Mike Tannenbaum takes us through not what he thinks will happen, but what he thinks should happen. Okay, so that's important clarification at next month's NFL draft. Mike, we just saw a look at what your mock looks like. We'll go back to it so people can see it visually. But quarterbacks are going to be front and center up here. Okay, so take us through the first round quarterbacks and where you have them landing. Let's start at the top in Carolina. Yeah, razor thin, but we're going to go with Bryce Young, Laura, quarterback, University of Alabama. He had an outstanding career there, 80 touchdowns and only 12 interceptions. He had 27 starts. I think he has great short area quickness, and the great Dan Orlovsky actually compared him to Steph Curry. Mm. I actually see some Steph Curry in his game, and that's why, because of his movement with his legs, I take him very narrowly over the next pick, C.J. Stroud to the Houston Texans. Hopefully this solidifies the Texans quarterback situation. He had a great career at Ohio State. You could say maybe too easy of a career from a standpoint. Always had a clean pocket, but I thought he was exceptional in the Peach Bowl against Georgia. Exceptional at the combine, throwing to only one receiver he knew in Smith and Jigba. He has earned the right to be the second quarterback. Next one for me is Penn State transfer Will Levis. Little concern that he didn't beat out Sean Clifford at Penn State, but if you go back last year, he was outstanding. He had nine rushing touchdowns a year ago. Little beat up this year. He reminds me a little Ben Roethlisberger with his physicality. Mm. And again, what Colts desperately need a quarterback that can solidify that position. I think Will Levis is their guy. Hennon Hooker. To me, this guy is going to be Justin Herbert 2.0. He could have been the first pick in the draft if he was healthy. Transferred for Virginia Tech, 37 starts. When you watch the Alabama game against that great Alabama defense, he tore them up. He led the nation in yards per pass attempt. I think he has a flawless game, impeccable character. I love his game, and I think he's going to be a frontline starter. And then lastly, at number 11, Anthony Richardson going to the Tennessee Titans. This guy's been all world since the season has ended. Accuracy law, as we know, is very important <laughs> for quarterback evaluation. He was 115th in completion percentage. Mm. It will get better. He has a massive ceiling, but that is a concern along with the 13 starts. He could sit behind Ryan Tannehill for a year. I will point out, you still have Richardson going 11th overall. So it's still a, a very high pick for a, a quarterback or for anybody. Dan, your eyes are bugged out. Is it Hendon Hooker that's got you going? What's yes. yeah, okay. Not Seattle taking a guy, Hendon Hooker. So there's been one quarterback in the common era of the NFL draft that has been over the age of 25 taken in the first round. That was Brandon Whedon. Does that concern you with Hooker, who's 25 coming off of an ACL tear? That's less concerning to you than 53% completion percentage with Anthony? Age doesn't matter because I know we're going to get a second contract. And actually, the ACL, oddly to me, is a little bit of a positive from this standpoint. They just extended Geno Smith. Sure. Geno Smith's going to be their starter this year, guys. So let the ACL come along. Yep. I think without the ACL injury, I don't think he's there at five. And his ceiling to me is of a frontline starting NFL quarterback. There are no flaws in his game. He's a good athlete. He has great downfield accuracy. When you really break it down, people say, oh, Josh Heupel's offense. He's getting the ball out quickly. That's really not true. Like, the stats back it up. He was number one in yards per attempt. I think he's a very good player. I called a couple of his college games. I called the game against LSU. He was tremendous. Just the age and the injury. It, you're, so, if, if we take him this year, he sits this year, that means he's 26 years old at in least. Next January. Right. Yep. He's 26 in January of 24. Yes. So, he's almost 27 when he takes his first NFL snaps. But, guys, if the three of us were running an NFL team and I said we could bring somebody in who has impeccable character, sure. impe impeccable physical characteristics, we're going to have him for at least 10 years. But I, I, would, I, argue, I would argue to you that that's Anthony Richardson. If Whoa. Impeccable character, impeccable talent, tremendous intelligence right. and character, and he's six or seven years younger. Right, but, Dan, when you put their resumes next to each other, sure. one star at 37 games, one star at 13 So is games. the game started the concern for you when it comes to that? Well, when you really study it over the last 50 years, Coach Parcells, who had a massive imprint on how I look at quarterbacks, yeah. always talked about every 10 games started, they should improve. But what I would say is, not only is it the game started, but when you look at how they played, one led the nation in yards per pass of 10. Yeah. The other one was 115th in accuracy. Uh, I will say, I mean, I'm a huge Hinton Hooker fan, too. I had him on my Heisman ballot despite the injury. Really quick, when you think about Anthony Richardson, I know that's a little low for you at 11, but to the Titans, do you like it? 
Oh, I love it. I, yeah. I would love that for Tennessee. I mean, I would love it for Seattle, candidly. But Tennessee, I would sit there and go, you've got a young man that, with Ryan Tannehill playing for another year, likely in Tennessee, tremendous talent. I don't think the accuracy conversation is valid. I think it's very similar to what people were saying about Josh Allen coming out of school, and I think his ability – is top five in the NFL type stuff. Dan will continue to debate with Mike T about that probably in the commercial break and in all of the coming days <laughs> up until the draft and beyond, no matter where these guys go. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.